okay so I've got this uh, hack uh, WZ mini hack uh, for my uh, wise cam version 3 and what this hack allows me to do is receive uh, my data over uh, an Ethernet connection. Now, um, ever since I've been using wise cameras, this is something that I've been really wanting because I live in a very high density Wi Fi area, and um, the, my Wi Fi on all of my uh, wise cams has been very sketchy. So I was really at the point of replacing them, and in fact, you know, I've got. Uh, a few, uh, uh, you know, Chinese knockoff uh, <laughs> uh, uh, IP PoE uh, power over, over Ethernet uh, cams, but this hack came along and um, I tried it, and it seems to work very well. So again, this hack is WZ uh, Mini Hack. It's on GitHub, and um, it has a, actually a lot of features. And, and what's really, really great about it. Uh, is that it doesn't disturb the WISE firmware or app. So, you know, you can keep upgrading the app how you want and it doesn't change and it works um, as well, you know, uh, as it did without this hack installed. It doesn't touch it at all. So it's uh, really great. So again, for me, what this is allowing me to do is get uh, my data over, it, uh, over an Ethernet connection. So the question came up about power over uh, Ethernet and initially I'm thinking well heck if we could get the data over Ethernet it already gets power over Ethernet so that should be a no-brainer well huh, it turned out to be a brainer because for the past I think two weeks I've been you know ordering all sorts of adapters uh, from Amazon trying to get power over um, uh, Ethernet, PoE, and data uh, into uh, this WISE camera using that hack. Now the hack, I know it already does the, the data because I tested it. Uh, in fact, I tested it with the, this adapter uh, right here and it works fine. Um, but uh, what I wanted, again, was uh, power over Ethernet, PoE, and that was not forthcoming, at least not easily. Um, and the reason I wanted it is so that I could take one Ethernet cable, right, and run it as long as I needed to run it um, to get to, you know, uh, the wise camera. So if I, you know, if I got to go 20 feet, or got to go 30 feet, or got to go 50 feet, 100 feet, I can do that without having to worry about running uh, two cables, you know, one for the Ethernet and then you know one uh, for the power so I can get the uh, I can get the power um, and the data um, you know over the same uh, Ethernet connection right so again the only way this is going to work people two things you need number one you need uh, the wise mini hacks um, uh, on your uh, installed on your um, Wise Cam version 3, that's what I'm using right here. And you're going to need uh, power over internet uh, switch or hub or injector or, or whatever. Okay. So um, once you have those two things, then all you're going to need is these adapters you see here <laughs> and to make it work. So essentially, I'll be able to run a line. So I run this line to wherever I need to run it and then hook all this up here. Now, yeah, this is awful. I mean, it would be great if I could just have one power over Ethernet connector. I've not been able to find a power over Ethernet adapter for uh, the uh, mini, uh, a USB mini um, uh, connector. Um, I, I, why they don't do it, I don't know. There are plenty of power over uh, I'm, I'm sorry, there are plenty of um, micro connectors that, that send power, but they don't send uh, data. So uh, what I ended up doing was taking an adapter that I knew uh, worked and getting a uh, PoE splitter 
and simply uh, using it to deliver both the power and the ethernet over, again, the adapter that I know that works. So we've got, uh, uh, what is it, uh, basically three uh, adapters here, adapter connectors. First is uh, a PoE splitter. And um, I have put, I'm going to put the uh, link to this on Amazon.com in the description. Uh, we have a Ugreen Ethernet adapter, and what it does is uh, it will, um, it has a USB A type connector for power, and then um, your power and data comes through a USB micro connector, which plugs here into the uh, wise cam uh, and of course the data uh, comes in um, here now um, thing about this is that normally I, I was using this and I was just plugging this into the wise cam uh, power um, uh, adapter and then directly into the, you know the AC outlet but again my goal was to get uh, uh, power of the internet so uh, so I've got this, the Ugreen um, Ethernet adapter, uh, and then here, um, what I have is <laughs> is actually a is two uh, little converters. It's a micro USB micro right uh, female to USB A male, and then I have this USB A female to female. And then boom. So what you could do instead of doing all of this is just just purchase a a, a USB uh, micro uh, female to USB Type A female, which I didn't have at the time that I'm I'm doing this. But well, like, and I just got it to work, so I just had to do a video on this. Ha. Anyway, all right. So got these three uh, items here. and wise cam and i've got my little ethernet uh cable now this again is coming from a, a power over ethernet uh switch that i have right so i'm going to go ahead and plug this into the poe splitter haha so far so good now the this poe splitter is going to split out into um data over this uh, Ethernet uh, connection, uh, RJ45, uh, I think, and then this uh, micro USB. So I'm going to plug the um, data, the, the Ethernet connection, into the Ugreen Ethernet adapter. Okay? And then I'm going to plug the, and this is the data, so I'm going to plug the power here, um, this micro uh, male into the micro female connector like so wait a minute Let's see if i got this in here right never know can't figure out which is the right side so there we go boom all right now the um this the this is this is actually the adapter that really does the magic, or ha the other half of the magic. This is the Ugreen adapter. So here is the power uh, cord, right, for the Ugreen adapter. And so I'm going to plug it here into the power that you see is coming from the splitter. And this is the combination of the um, data and power, right? That's the beauty of this thing. And I'm going to plug that into my camera using the USB micro connector. Get it in there, right? And it might not be the right way. So I can't tell, which is. The, there we go. I don't know whether you can see this or not, but my camera now has um, power. And it also has data. Um, and it's 
blinking, and I don't know if you can see the light is blinking, blinking red and blue, and now it has a solid blue. Um, and that means it has a, a solid connection. Um, let me see if I can um, go get a, um, a video of this. Okay, so um, I'm going to go into the Wise app here. Boom. And as you can see, this is the, uh, the uh, camera that has the, um, that I just uh, connected via power over Ethernet, or at least my version of it. And um, it's working, uh, it's working fine. So bada bing, bada boom.